you're a new agent, you wanna make 10K your first month, okay? I made just over nine grand my very first month as an insurance agent. It wasn't 10, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did to make nine. Who's watching thinking, dude, I'd love to make nine. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do better than I did, specifically how to get in front of people, what you need to say, what you need to do, and we're gonna walk through that right now. talking about 10K the very first month. Month one as a brand new agent. First of all, I want you to think about, I want, I want the whole, I, I, I want there to be a goal, but I want you to think about, I want you to focus on one thing. The whole focus of this needs to be set appointments per week, right? And that needs to be a number that, that you need to figure up, right? So let me give you an example. Let's just say you have four weeks in a month, which is pretty normal, 4.33 sometimes, whatever, right? 2,500 bucks per week. Let's just say that you average $500 per sale. Then you need five sales per week. Here's what I would do, right? We always talk about the set, sit, sell, and then I'm about to give you a couple ideas in a second on specifically how to get in front of these people appointment-wise, okay? If you're at five, um, you're gonna need to sit down with at least 10 minimum, and as a new agent, maybe more because your closing rate is, is Possibly lower, unless you have a lot of prior sales experience, okay? So 10 plus, um, and, then, and then set, you're gonna have to be at least 15 plus because about a third of the appointments are gonna fall off before you sit with them, and then you'll probably close about half, right? But you may, you, you may end up needing to set 20 and sit with 12 or 13 just to hit your number, but you gotta figure out what that is. Use month, use the first week and the second week as a gauge for what those numbers should be in the future, okay? So this is the example of how to think through the numbers. Making sure that you hit your sets is the number one priority every single week. Every single week, you think about that. Every single week, you think about that, right? I wanna hit my sets, because you hit your sets, guess what, you hit, you hit your sets. If you hit your sets, most likely gonna hit your sales. Now, let's start to think through Specifically, I'm moving quick. I got a lot of lot to cover. Let's start thinking specifically. How do you get in front of? Let's just say, how do you set the 15 to 20 appointments per week? How do you make that happen? Okay. The first thing is a brand new agent. I would do is I would have a hit list. I would have a hit list, and I would write down 100 people who know me or I know them. Okay, I need name, number, and that's pretty much it, right? Any, any other information. And I'm gonna attack that list, explain to them that I'm, I'm, I'm now a part of the insurance industry now, and I'm gonna come over and see if I can save them money, right? Or I'm gonna see if I can help. Attacking that hit list is one of the big ways that I got out of the gate quick and made a lot of money fast, but I had something to work. Anytime we ever come up with a new idea in the office, the first thing we do is we attack a hit list, right? I mean, we're, we're about to roll out a new, um, high level retreat conference in January, and I'm gonna have a hit list that we target for that. Okay, so think about what your hit list is. It needs to be at least 100 names. There's a book out there called Prospecting Made Easy that says if you can't write down a 500 people, then you're not serious about prospecting. And I know you are, okay? This is, the, the, doing these things are an absolute must if you wanna make this happen. This, doing this your very first month is a lot harder than you think. I know we've had people on the show Talk to some people that have hit that number the first month, but I'm telling you, it's very rare and it's not as easy as you think, okay? So once you have a hit list, then you need to um, look into actually making some extra calls to fill in the time, okay? To fill in the gap. And that could be, it could be leads, it could be aged leads, right? It could be cold, whatever, right? And when it comes to leads and age leads and data and all that, we've got it for every product line. Um, through Secure Agent Marketing and through Secure Agent Leads, okay? So, but you, you've got to add some type of activity so that you're adding on to what's going on, right? Because most people, they have a one thing they want to do, right? I'm going to hit my hit list. And then their hit list doesn't go as well one week, and then they have nothing else to do. The point of this is, right, you've got to keep your activity up. So if it's calls, okay, leads, new leads, age leads, cold calls, like make some, make some additional calls. Okay, and then you need to find some additional activity to fill in your time. This is based off of the training I did called Prospecting 101, uh, probably two, month, two years ago, uh, that's on our website, training.codyaskins.com, which has a ton of training courses and content. 
It's all about the activity though, right? It's consistent activity over and over and over. The number one reason people fail, they don't get in front of enough people. The reason they don't get in front of enough people is because they don't have enough activity on a consistent basis. Okay, so let's think about what you would need to do to absolutely make this happen and what those steps are. Okay, if I had to walk you through several steps. Okay, number one, right, we've, we've got to have a target. Well, we've got a target, it's 10K. That's good, right? Check. Okay. The second thing we have to do is we have to break down the numbers so that you know what numbers you need to hit for that to be reality. I just walked through it with you. You can do it yourself, but you have to know. You're not going to hit 10K your first month if you're not in the know. People try to like, you know, just do things and, and never have a set goal or a target. It's like going on a trip and not having a destination, right? It's weird. Okay. It's weird. I know some seniors jump in their RV and do that, but most people have a destination, right? And if you're an insurance agent and you're trying to make a bunch of money, you're trying to make 10K your first month, you need a destination, right? If this is the destination, you need to break that down because then you have to make sure that you hit your sets. You hit your sets, right? You want to hit all three S's, sets at sale. However, if you can't this is the most important one because if you don't hit it, you're not going to hit the other ones, right? You have to hit the amount of sets that you need. If it's 15, do not go home. Do not go to bed. Do not take the weekend off until you hit this, right? Some people, that's what's unique about people is, is, is some people are like, I want to achieve this. Cody, I will do whatever it takes to do this. And then I'm like, well, here's what it takes. Like, well, I won't do that. But eight seconds before you said you would do whatever it takes. I want to challenge you right now that when the going gets tough, when you don't feel like doing it, when you're not sure about it, and, and, and you're starting to like scratch your head thinking, I don't know if I can make this, I want to challenge you to make it. I want to challenge you to hit it, and I want to challenge you to actually do whatever it takes. If it means, if it means that you've got to make if, if, if it means you gotta make 750 calls your first week because you're not any good on the phone, then do it. Okay, that's a lot. It shouldn't take near that many, right? However, you don't really know what to expect yet, okay? Because you haven't done a lot of it. So, hit your sets, okay? Once you hit your sets, it's going to be real easy to lower your activity level. This is a natural reaction for a lot of people, but do not lower your activity, okay? Also, if, you, if, if you're starting to not hit your goals, and you're starting to aim, and, and you're starting to like hit smaller numbers or your activity's not going well or you're like dude I made 60 calls in a day and I set two appointments it was horrible well that means you set an appointment every 30 people that you call right so call 30 times 15 right call 450 and guess what will happen you'll hit your sets most people don't want to hit don't want, don't want to make 450 calls if that's what it takes also when we when we start to not hit our numbers we have a tendency to lower activity Right? When we should be raising your activity, okay? you should end up raising the activity level. And then the last thing most people forget about is it's, it's a tendency that when you have a goal or a target and, and, and it's not going well, to lower it. To lower it. What you should do is you should actually raise it. Why? Because apparently the current goal wasn't getting your attention enough to put in the work. Right? It was too easy. It wasn't challenging enough. So if we raise it, maybe we will start to get challenged because of that, okay? And maybe that will start to challenge us, right? We're going to, we're, we're having, a, um, we're having a, a boot camp December 12th where I'm actually going to break down all of this. I'm going to break down seven different steps and it's a full day of sales training with me. If you want more information, you can go to CodyAskins.com, look under events, it'll be there, okay? Now, when we're talking about 10K, what else do we have left, right? This is five specific steps that you need to do. The question for you is, will you do them? And if that's what it takes is doing these, will you put in the work? Okay, now, as we finish this up, here's what I'm, I'm gonna give you one additional thought or idea to make it happen, okay? Don't forget about when you're hitting your hit list. Don't forget that they like you, they love you, they care about you, and they know people that also need help with this. Referrals is the biggest lost art in the insurance industry. Most people never ask. I'm telling you, if you will just ask, you will receive. The reason people don't make sales, they don't ask. The reason people that, that, that they don't get referrals, they don't ask. The reason struggle with people struggle with cross-selling, they don't ask. Ask, 
you shall receive, do this, you make 10K your first month. All right, we've showed you to make 10K your first month. I got a dude that made 85K his first six weeks. It's right there, go learn from him. Click on it now. What was so special about you that you could jump into our industry and pull off $85,000 in premium in your first six weeks?